Welcome everyone to the next Let's Play. Well, it's not going to be that. I said I'm not doing it anymore. We're going to do this one, but not this version. But, I do want to show off the intro to this, and then I will cut over to the version I'm actually going to do. Because, as much as I would love to do this version, eh, the sound, the music is not as good as it should be. So I want to show the intro off to this game because it just it's better than the actual one of the version I'm going to do. This is probably the best intro, other than maybe the PSP version, but yeah, I, don't, I can't do the PSP version. I own it, I just can't do it yet. Um, but this game has by far one of the, just overall, probably one of the best soundtracks in the entire series. Just from start to finish, every track just is absolutely brilliant. And that's why I'm doing the other version. Put, 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 sharpen your claws. Ooh, every time I start recording, you start sharpening your claws. I see you. You a good boy. Alright, so let's get started. New game! And we'll just start. Whatever. So you don't get this cutscene. Because it shows a peaceful town. People are happy. Oh, dear. And then idiots show up. It's like, and then people from Memphis come in time to town. <laughs> the Emperor of Palamecia has called forth monsters from the underworld. He's begun his campaign for world conquest. Because he's a douchebag. The Emperor is probably one of my favorite villains, too. The rebel army arose in the kingdom of Finn to thwart the Emperor's primes. See, this tells a lot of the backstory of like, what goes on. But the Rebels' castle fell to an all-out assault by the Empire. They fire the Death Star. This is where the cliche of Empires are bad, Kingdoms are good comes from. Left with little choice, the Rebels withdrew to the remote town of Altair. Four youths from Finn also found themselves fleeing the Imperial forces lost their parents at the hands of the Empire. Their escape wasn't over. Alright, and that's where I'm gonna cut it, so I'll catch you in the real version in a second. Okay. This is the actual version of the game I'm going to do, is the Final Fantasy Origins version, because we have that CD quality crisp music, and we got the same gameplay, and we got all the good stuff. It's all pretty much the same things. Um, I have played through this game once, and I absolutely adored it. Uh, I'll go over the battle mechanics and everything, and how the experience system works. This game plays like no other Final Fantasy, ever. So, and I love it for that. It's absolutely groundbreaking, everything, and all of everything it does. And, uh, let's get started, shall we? And I'll show you why I like, I cut the video when I did, and why I like the other version's intro better. Oh, I love this game so much. Squaresoft! Before they went all crappy this with just being Square and then Square Enix. Where they're like, Tomb Raider didn't sell what we wanted it to sell, but it sold more than any other Tomb Raider. We hate this game. <laughs> That's the Emperor. He's a douche. So now we are in the Kingdom of Finn during the Siege. It's kind of like looking at the other way of seeing the battle. This is actually showing the four dudes running out of the village. Or the Kingdom. I mean, this isn't a bad cutscene by no means. It's just, I, eh, I like the other one better. This shows like, hey, you know, everything was peaceful, and then here's the douchebag with his army, and he's gonna start burninating everything. Because <laughs> he's like, Trondor! No, no. He's not a one armed dragon. One, -ar one big, beefy armed dragon. Zombie guard, seize her! Uh oh. Awesomeness incoming. Oh, 
If only you could actually do that together. Oh, an eye! No! Caught him in the throat! He dead. Nope. Zombie gods, get up and seize them! Yeah, Dark Knights are friggin' ridiculous. Even this music for the intro is really good. Well, crap. Now what do we do? Burn the village. Prune the hedges. Welcome. To Final Fantasy 2. The real Final Fantasy 2. So let's get started. Let's start a new game. Yes, I, I have a memory card. Okay. So we got our hero here, Furion. We got Maria, Gus, and Leon. The four yous. Maria and Leon are brother and sister. Gus, yeah, he's not the most intelligent guy, but he can talk to animals. And he's very strong. And Furion's the all-rounder. Leon's a very good warrior. Uh, he also knows a little bit of black magic, but... I don't know. Let's get started. I'm start. That's right. This is the start button. Yes. Oh, I should change Gus's name to Guy. His name's supposed to be Guy. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, we, we just saw that. So this is where this picks up. Which is why I would show the other thing. Run away! Run! You've come a long way from Finn, but you've nowhere left to run. Buh? Finn! No escape. Hey, hey! Final Fantasy VI wants its line back. By Imperial order, all who defy us shall be put to death. You've brought us upon yourselves. Peasants never learn, do you? Best battle theme ever. I'm gonna let it play. This is better than most boss themes of most games. If this doesn't get you hyped up to go into battle, I don't know what will. But, oh, so we got four commands. That's all we have. Attack, magic, equip, freaking. Oh yeah, this has the two item system. Okay, this is gonna be more challenging this time around. Oh dear. Uh, uh, essentially, you can only carry two items uh, in the battle per character, and that's your item inventory. I think for the whole game. Um, this is gonna be a little trickier. Because <laughs> I was able to carry a lot more stuff last time. But eh, it won't be so bad. So, and you also have magic, but nobody knows any magic right now, so we gotta fight four Black Knights. Those guys that are chasing us in the village. So, yeah, she has nothing. Uh, she comes with a bow, so she's in the back row. Uh, Gus has an axe. Axes suck. And this is also the first game to introduce handedness, so he's left handed. Oh! Oh my god! No! Oh! Oh! Uh. I think. Uh, can we run? Can I run? Oh, jeez! Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. That was the Let's Play of Final Fantasy II. Yeah, I know everybody's done that joke into the ground for this game, but. <laughs> Good gosh! No. Let me just cast this magic. Will he survive, Minwu? Mindu? So he Minwu? Your Highness, he should regain consciousness in no time. I feel strong energy from him. That is good. On the retreat out of Finn, I found him and the other two lying in their own blood. Good lord. You got the crap kicked out of us, well no wonder. 
We should leave him for now. This magic sigil will strengthen his life force. Thank you, Mindu. Mindu. That is wonderful. Well, let's join the others. It must be waiting for us. Once the Empire completes the Dreadnought in Basque, it may well launch all out war. We must move quickly. They already did! You were the last strong kingdom in the land. They just smacked you around with some infantry. Well, undead infantry, but infantry nonetheless. Where, where am I? Whose footprints are these? Where's everyone else? Leon! Maria! Gus! Should have changed his name. The rebel theme. Oh, I love it! Everybody's spotting each other. Virion, I'm so glad you're alive. I thought I'd... <laughs> Maria. Gus. Where's Leon? Finn Princess saved us. But Leon not here. I see. I'm sure he's fine. I love the rebel theme. I love it so much. It's so simple. And really, this this tune hasn't changed much since the NES version. It still sounds just like this. I see you have regained your strength. Your Highness, please allow us to join the rebel forces. Nonsense. You would only waste your lives in the war. You must go home at once. But your highness, we no longer have homes. And our parents, they're... And of course, Furion's a, uh, uh, orphan. Oh, I'm so very sorry for your losses. You're welcome to stay in Altair. You need only know our secret code to live here. And here introduces the... Uh... Word system. The password is Wild Rose. Don't forget it. So we ask about Wild Rose. The Wild Rose is Finn's crest, strong and beautiful, as she once was. But now, oh, what will become of Finn? I hear captives are being gathered in Finn. Speaking of which, his brother has been reported missing. Perhaps he's being held in Finn. Monsters proud of the city now, so, so even approaching it is dangerous. Hey, Minwu. I see your destiny is intertwined with mine. You must go to Finn. It will lead you to a destined path. So you've been using the password, have you? Continue doing so. You can unseal the lips of many who would not otherwise offer the time of day. Okay, so we can run. To the east of here is the port of Paloom. But you can't cross the lake without a canoe. This is where the rebels' armor strategies are made. Nice. Hey, old man. You wish to go to Finn? Oh, shoot. Oh, no, you shouldn't. The place is crawling with the monsters of the Empire brought. You've been lucky to make it to the village of Gatry up north. Alright, let's go to the menu. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Alright. Well, first of all, get up in the front row. You. Take that off. You, no, take that off. And you, take that off. There's a reason why I'm doing this. Because, let's go over how, st there's, okay, status menu. There's no experience in this game. You have weapon masteries, where you use a certain weapon, you gain experience in using that weapon the more you use it. Much like Elder Scrolls, the more you do something, the better you get at it. I unequipped everything to increase my evasion to its max that I can right now so that I have a better chance of dodge. Which I've also got the buckler on because I want to increase my shield drastically. Every time I evade an attack, it will help increase my agility. If agility increases, my evasion increases. If my evasion gets up so can get up so freaking high that I can literally dodge everything. <laughs> And it gives you get evasion chances. My uh, and I was looking at the, the attack. Attack power is ten. This was from the sword, my strength, and all that. Accuracy is one dash seventy. That means I get one at one a seventy percent chance to hit the enemy one time. If my strength increases, I get more chances to hit, as well as my accuracy goes up with with attacks. When I get more chances to hit, I get more damage out of. Same goes for evasion. You can get chances to dodge. 
So right now I have one chance to dodge, 20% chance to dodge once. That will increase. Cat, you clear it out. And same way with magic defense. Your magic defense, you can also evade magic in this game. It's freaking amazing. Uh, so right now, my Virion's a very well all-rounder. You know, you see his strength, endurance, spirit, agility, intelligence are all about the same. If I go into Maria, you see her agility and intelligence are higher. Now, even though her agility's higher, her chance to evade actually sucks because she doesn't have a shield. See, the shield adds 5%. Now, Gus, his evasion's garbage, but we'll get that up. We'll get that up. But because his endurance is higher than everybody else's, you see his magic defense is higher. So, that's how that works. Uh, I will be getting Maria a new weapon. I don't want her with a bow. Um, let's see, config. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I want auto target on. Cursor. We'll keep it on default. I like doing that. I want to fast. Item sorting. Yip, yip, yip. And we got collections. So we can look at things. Oh shoot, I never did start my timer. We'll cut 10 minutes off of it. So we can look at pictures, concept art, Leon. There's Guy. I don't like that picture of him. I don't know what they were thinking of that. Hey, Maria. Alright, so. We got bestiaries, all that. Uh. Okay. Oh, I don't need vibration for this game. Alright. Uh. Equipment. Let me see, you have items. <laughs> Every character can only carry two items. Now, I can store a bunch more. Thank God. So at least I got that going for me. But what I carry in the battle is only what I put on my belt. So let's explore the rebel base. Oh. Dang it! This is the king's room. His majesty took an injury on the way from Finn in his escape. I was hit in the back by an arrow. I used to be a king until I got, took an arrow to the knee. I have given my daughter Hilda the command of the army. Sure, that's a good idea. Let me take your helmet and sword back here. Well, good. Now I don't have to keep clicking a button. And this is Hilda's room. It's the rebels' hideout. It's headquarters. Who are you? Prince Golden of Cassian Kingdom is here now, sir. But he seems to have lost all of his confidence. Because he's a wimp. What we got? Potion! Princess Hilda fled Finn when he was sacked by the Imperial Army. So she came to Altair. She's taking command of the Rebel Army in place of the injured king. Yeah, Hilda's pretty cool. She's a cool character. Right. Go explore the town. Yeah, town music's pretty good in this game. Okay, this... Get over here, you! Dang it! You, you, you. I'm Pavel, a thief of all thieves. I've been making tons of... Tons by stealing from the Empire's vault. I don't steal from the rebels. I'm from Finn, too, but the Emperor's dogs took my house and I haven't been back there since. His name's actually Paul. But, you know. It's the town of Altair. The Imperial Army hasn't arrived here yet. Hope for that to last forever. Let's go to the inn. Let's check out the shop quick. So you can actually walk around inside buildings now. Now, healing is actually kind of weird as well. There's not like a set in price. Uh, item shop. Cures curse. Amnesia. Toad. Stone. Uh, freaking cockatrices. Alright. Let's go ahead and sell this stuff. Gill, gill. We're gonna need that money. I might buy some more stuff a little later. I am Gordon, I was Prince of Cassian, but now I'm nothing more than a coward. And as my brother Scott to die on a battlefield. I see. So you're volunteering then. I was so afraid Hilda would reject me that I stayed here, wasting away. Because you're a freaking wimp. 
And he's one of the worst characters in the game, like, period. Pavel's a thief, but he's no baddie. He only steals from those of the Empire. Ugh. No, we don't ever get Pavel on our... Oh. House of Healing. So not have to pay for it anymore. So if someone dies, they just die. White magic. Now, Furion is going to be a white mage, so I'm going to buy him... Oh, this is just a magic shop. Okay. Get one of those. Start working on that. Alright, yeah. Okay, so... He now knows here one. Dang. If the bow is worth... Box, I'm gonna freaking get rid of that garbage. I don't even want that nonsense. I mean, her attack power went up unequipping the bow. <laughs> Just notice that. Oh, we're so close. Okay, well, we do need to buy at least one weapon. Uh, well, two. Oh, shoot. Well, we're buying this one. Man, everything's freaking expensive in this version. Okay, you equip that. Wait, could I get a shield? Where's the armor shop? Oh, I'm only a worthless old geezer. I'm no shaking bones and skin. I'm Tabool, the master smith for the rebel force. And how about you make me something? Can I get a shield? I at least want the shield. Yes! There, that's all we need. Alright, now. I want to start working on everyone's agility. Now, equipping a shield does lower your attack power, but it increases your evasion immensely. Wait, does this guy have one? He does not. We need to get him a shield. Now, the initial start of this game is this is why I sold all that stuff, because you gotta get all these things, like, now. I will eventually switch Guy over to a sword. In time. He's gonna be my swordsman. Uh Cat, you clear it out. So here's the start of the game. It's gonna be a lot of frickin' grinding. So let's get started. With the epicness. Okay. So when you select an attack, the enemy's already run from you. It's freaking pathetic. All right, um, when you, oh, we're gonna wait. You attack him. You, I want you to attack yourself, and you, I want to attack him. Good, she hit herself. She's the tricky one. I want to at least kill one enemy so I get some money out of this. See, we get no money, we get no experience. There, she, she increased her HP. That's what I wanted. When you take damage, your endurance will increase as well as your HP will increase. As you use magic, your HP, your uh, MP, your magic power will increase as well as depending on what type of magic you're using will increase. So we're going to use Cure this time. She's going to smack him. You're going to attack one of them. Your, your, your max MP can't increase. There's always a chance for it. Okay, alright, we're done smacking on him. Okay, now Venom... Now, we're not poisoned, it's just Venom. Venom is only temporary for just the battle itself. Uh, smack yourself again. Good. Maybe she'll get some more HP out of this. Oop! Smack guy, guy attacking. There we go. Alright, Fury should get some HP. Yes. Right, that will be what he'll do in the next battle. He's gonna cure himself. I want to do everything in battle because if you do it outside of battle, you don't. You, you can gain your like your magic levels, but you won't have the chance to get. Uh, Oh, what is it? 
you won't have the chance to get your uh, MP to increase. Imps are freaking pathetic. Alright, now, you attack yourself, you attack yourself, and you attack yourself. You attack yourself, you attack yourself, oh. and you attack yourself. There we go. This will get us some hit points. Hit yourself, guy. Come on. All right. You attack. You attack, guy. You attack. That. Cat, get down. Speed. Come on, boy. Now we should get some more HP. I'm mainly HP grinding right now. Okay, well, Maria got some hit points. <laughs> now, how much magic power does Fearing have? Okay, we've still got a good bit. Hey, hey. Alright, now. Cure her. You smack guy. Guy, you killed me. Very nice. There, here you got more MP. Gus an increase in strength. Huzzah. Now, how much fear he, he doubled his MP? Very nice. Okay, we've got 112 bucks. That is not near enough. I need to get the fire spell next. Ugh. Okay, still so got two MP left. Alright, let's check the status. Yeah, I see his magic defense, I think, went up a little bit. But you see our stats are already increasing. You can see our experience in the weapons over there on the right. Now, Fury's going to be a little behind because he's also casting magic at the moment. But I want to just get as much uh, HP as I can now before I hit level 2 in attack power or weapon mastery so that I don't kill myself. As well as this helps boost uh, you attack her. Wait a minute. Huh, cast on everyone. No, oh, hold on. Okay, cure yourself. You attack Gus. You attack Maria. There we go. Up. Okay, um, you attack yourself again, you attack me. Come on! Oh dear. Yeah, starting fights are pretty ugly. Attack yourself again. Good lord, she's got like, the best chance to hit out of all of us. <laughs> oh, a crit! Nice! Good job, Firion. Now you can attack him. Alright, we're gonna head back to town now. Where are you getting HP? Gosh, he's the only one getting HP. Alright, well, we're gonna head burn up our last chance of that, just in case. Alright, back to town. Yeah, this version of the game stuff is friggin' expensive. Alright, let's see. Um, we're gonna go to the inn. Rest. 20 gil. Not bad. Well, yeah, I can listen to the battle theme for this game all frickin' day. Alright, let's save again. Yeah, money is a huge issue early on. I can't stress that enough. But I will do grinding outside of the videos to spare you guys as much as possible. Just right now I'm trying to explain game mechanics and what I'm doing and what's going on. Good! There we go, good game of Fury. Come on, Gus, hit yourself. There you go, buddy. Alright, we're good to go on that. 
So now I want to cast magic every, every round. But not on myself. Cast on the enemy. Because it won't do anything to him. If you want to alternate attack, magic, attack, magic, attack, magic. And, and, oh, jeez. You better get some freaking. You better get some freaking HP off that. There you go. You better get some freaking HP off of that. Actually, you attack yourself. Now, if you input a command, it automatically gives you experience for it. If you back it up and do it again, you'll get more experience. But I don't want to do that. Because that's cheating. That is very much cheating. Oh, shut up, Facebook. All right, now, here's another thing. Battles are split up into rows. Now, can I put this on the screen? Yes. You have front row, back row, can't do anything. Or this is back row. These are the front rows. The first two rows in a battle are front rows. These, these characters can't do anything unless they have magic, and you can't attack them unless you have something like a bow. Now, this is technically like a reverse defense. They get increased defense and evasion because there's an enemy in front of them. So you have to take this guy out in order to get to these guys better. Even the enemies have formations. It's friggin' amazing. Now, you get yourself. Guy, go after him. I want to do some mucho healing. Oh, he's got Axe Mastery. He's got two hits. You heal yourself. You attack yourself again. You go after that. You need more hit points. Okay, you're good. No more attacking yourself. Everyone go all out. Every time I see a miss, I'm just going, mmm, agility. Cut you. Okay, if you're gaining more MP, Maria got endurance. Very nice. Ish. Still want Maria to get freaking health. I'm waiting on my agility to increase. Because, I mean, when you get a point of agility, it's freaking huge. There you go, keep attacking him, it's fine. Oh, yeah, and you have a chance to shrug off your temporary status ailments in battle, so that's always nice. Oh, should have been hitting Gus. That's alright. Oof! Alright, we won't use any magic this time. Smack in the face with my whooping stick. Very nice, very nice. Okay, who gained HP? Very gained HP. Cool. All right, let's keep rolling. We're still good on hit points, everything. Well, you see what this game is. You I mean, you gotta kinda grind your stats at the beginning. Because if you don't, <laughs> man, you get freaking screwed. Alright, you attack him. You attack, you attack. Dang it. There we go. Smack, smack. Smackity, crackity. Freaking stats. Yeah, Maria's kind of tricky to get her hit points up. I just have her take a whack at herself. I kind of don't want to right now because her HP is getting pretty low. <laughs> okay. Let's all attack one round. That's good. Okay, I don't have to attack her. Alright, you hit Gus. There we go. Come on, hit 
points. Well, no, Gus got endurance, that'll work. Well, good, now Fearing's got his level 2 uh, sword. Which I guess is kind of good. You can get rare items off enemies and things in this game. They kind of implemented that now. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, go ahead and heal her. And attack you, attack you. Need to get Maria's fire magic. Oh dear. There we go. But I think when your endurance increases, it increases your chance of getting HP at the end of battle and stuff like that. So it's or how much HP you get if you get an HP boost. It's it's something that's kind of weird. Okay, you cure, you smack your freaking self. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, jeez. A little overboard on that. Alright, guys. There we go. There we go. Come on, Maria. Get some freaking health. Good. Yes! Everyone gets health. <laughs> now, how am I looking on magic? You know what, I'm gonna let this ride out until I have to go back to town and get some stuff. Actually, you know what? You know, let's go get the fire spell now. Because Maria's mainly going to be casting magic and only magic and always magic. Say, the freaking sword costs a god dang it. A spear costs a lot. That's all it needs is a spear. You want fire, but I can't even afford it yet. <laughs> I need 400? That's ridiculous! I thought it was 300. Dang it! Well, let me pick up the cure magic going. It's allowing me to stay out here longer. Alright. Cure. Smack him. Oop. Ow! Okay, well that's good. And I think the, it's not so much how many enemies you kill, money's kind of randomized, but if you kill more, the amount that you get does increase, so... There, see, I got 43 gil. Now I can go get the fire fire spell. Man, I didn't even get any freaking life off that match. Or endurance. But it'll come, it'll come. Let's go get fire. Now that I can afford it. Yes, you want fire magic. Fire magic is borderline broken in this game. Now I have my black mage. That's why I'm not too worried about Gus and his sword skill right now, because eh, it's doesn't really need it. Whoa. That's not good. Oh, run away, the coward that you are. Okay, so... We need to heal her. You need to start casting fire. And you need to attack him. Ow! That was a little too much. Gus, Gus. Shabooms. Oh, we're taking a beating. I will get life off this match. <laughs> Good gosh. And the the way the look of the magic does change. 
as the match is going, holy crap, dude, you did three hits! What's your did two? Good, and Marie got more MP already. Huzzah! Now, how much cure do I have left? I got one shot of it. How much money do I have? Okay, we got enough. Just go ahead and use it now. Just to get us back to town. Because you never know with random battles. Alright! So what I'm going to do is rest up, we're going to save it, and then when we come back... Now see, it cost me 42 gil at a time. It says it's a gil per HP, and it's... I think it's... No, it's not gil per HP. It's something like that, but it's... There's like a thing, a uh, counter for it or whatnot, but... When we come back... Oh god, I'm sorry, I was recording wrong. Oh jeez, come on, I was trying to save it quick. But when we come back, I will have all of the items that I want and need. Everything bought from the shops that I want and need. And, uh... We'll go from there. I think Gus can kill himself now, so I don't think he needs to be doing that. Ow! Ow! That's good. Okay, you attack. Oh, you cast fire on him. That way you can still work on that. Still do things. Well, everybody gained endurance. I can't complain. <laughs> Alright, so I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm glad that we're getting this thing rolling, and I'm very excited to be playing this. I'm glad I decided on this one. It's going to be great. See you guys.